Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're live in the Napa Auto Parts studios worldwide on American Forces Radio, coast to coast on great radio stations like this one. Every one of them's got something cool coming up for you. But right now, we are so lucky. Our guest host is a guy who's legendary in the uh, world of American comedy and Canadian comedy and Mexican comedy. He's never, never <laughs> Mexican been anywhere comedy. else. That's what he said earlier. He's never been. It's Frank Caliendo. Hola, como esta? Muy bueno, man. <laughs> Have you ever done a show in Mexico? Uh, yeah, yeah. Which was interesting doing the... This was like a few months ago, doing the Trump impression there. <laughs> like, this is tremendous. And you hear waiters dropping things. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? We were talking about, I don't want to get too lofty and pretentious, but it's very hard for me not to. The, um, <laughs> Here we uh, go. Frank. Uh, I, I understand it ever since I saw that painting of you. We were talking. <laughs> the famous uh, painting. Yep. I didn't yeah, know. All right, like, continue. Sorry. Uh, my parents had that done when oh. I was like 10. <laughs> I just want to. I want you to know what it's like. Uh, okay. <laughs> Somebody puts Thank the you. hand up for you. It's pretty that's funny. funny. Uh, that's, I thought that's my dad funny. was here. <laughs> We're going might, to paint you again, might, Tom. Might explain why you do that. Uh, Your great. dad used to do that to you. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, a you, bunch of doors open and lights clicked on. You can't imagine the dinner table at my house. I would love to have uh, God, imagined. I, wish we had a move. I, wish I we was had probably a, a little bit too dark to have dinner at your house, wasn't I? <laughs> Aren't I? Well, you spoke, would I you got only got to speak when spoken to, No, no, it wasn't, that, it wasn't that it was formal, it was that it was very competitive. Was it like oh. a board You better like be board funny meeting? and interesting, or someone's going to... Or you're you. going to be labeled the horse's ass. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. So the point is, uh, we, we were remind talking me about... me of that Steinbrenner kid. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the whole family sucked. Once again, oh, my No, your father, father wouldn't have said so. I was just, I was upset earlier about the Cleveland Indians losing, and my father hated uh, George Steinbrenner. He actually knew him and thought he was a... He would call him a horse's ass. And... Uh, huh? George Steinbrenner had the very good horse's taste, ass? though. I'll tell you what. He had the very yeah. good taste to die... The only year where there was no inheritance tax in the United States of America in recent <laughs> yeah, history. Smart man. Good move. <laughs> Good business. yeah. Businessman, right? Yeah. Hey, Dad, uh, <clears throat> would you mind croaking before December, before January 1st? It's kind of a tax thing. <laughs> Let's get back to reality. We were talking about we live in a culture where there's so much of everything. There are so many channels. And we were talking to Frank about uh, doing impressions. And uh, you, you, it's gotten to the point where you, who is someone that everybody knows other than Trump. Well, that's why the politicians always work, because they're out there all the time in the 24-hour news cycle. Mm -hmm. Now, the sports people, that's another thing that segments you a little bit, but it's its broad enough. But and but movie stars, people don't even watch the same. Everybody's programmed directly to now, whether it's, uh, you know, a Netflix uh, suggestion or... Uh, what, do you, you know, what do you think your most popular one is now, Gruden? Gruden or Barkley, Morgan Freeman, but every, now there's yeah, thousands of Morgan Freemans. Um, so, and again, would you mind, uh, Chick? What, what did you say that? Uh, who was it? Oh no, I'm sorry, Josh. You mentioned. You yeah, it was one of my all-time favorite Vine videos. Yeah, the Vines. What I did was a first-person Vine. It, it was Morgan Freeman. Whatever he was looking at, he would narrate. So it was Morgan Freeman narrates himself, and it was opening up the refrigerator, and like, that's when he realized he had no milk for his cereal. <laughs> and soon Morgan Freeman would be headed to the grocery store. <laughs> or like, you know, it's a musical. On. There's just so fun, the stuff you could do is you could pan across, like, today Morgan Freeman was going to try and decide where to eat. And then it just pans past Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> so you could all, the reveals are always so funny with yes. Morgan Freeman because it just it would be a fish out of water kind of thing, and it was almost like making mini films, uh, and just you know, and that's when he realized Batman would never be the same. Pan over to Ben, ben Affleck. <laughs> ben would someday be labeled as a groper. <laughs> he grew up not unlike that Harvey Weinstein style. <laughs> Steinstein. <laughs> you know, somebody, uh, uh, this is going to come out wrong. I'm sorry. Of is, course. Uh, is, it, is he a Steen or a Stein? <laughs> of course. Because I hear Steen all the time. I, I do too. So I, only, I really only Freeman read. Steen? I think the reflex is to rhyme it with wine, probably. Yeah, I only read it. I've wine never really, Stein. I don't know that I've heard no, it. About John Feinstein, the friend of the show, great writer. He's He goes by the, I don't know. I think it's a choice, and I don't know who makes it. I'm, I'm just trying to get it right, that's all. Uh, Make I'll, it Stein, like Frankenstein. Guy looks like a monster. <laughs> Okay, well, you can if you want. I, um, <laughs> kind of a, kind of like a drag. A uh, and he is. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of like Sloth from the Goonies with a little bit of uh, oh, yeah. peach fuzz. Right? <laughs> sloth love junk. <laughs> now, hey, you guys! I can work anything voicing anything. Back, I'm doing a Greg Hunt. I can work a voice in anything. Back real hey. quick. Uh, back I'm yelling just things that are coming into my head. Laugh now! And now! 
back about to, now? Back to who's popular out there. Yes. You have you have a, a two uh, sort of a preteens or uh, how old are the Juliet? And- uh, Joey is thirteen. Juliet is eleven. Are oh, you okay. kidding me? Wow. No, I wouldn't lie about that. <gasps> I don't lie about ages. So they were born oh, yesterday. Who are their favorite? Like. Who are their favorite uh, voices that you do? Oh, they don't care. They, they, whatever makes them uh, gets my son a new Xbox game. That's <laughs> who's working now, Dad. Uh, no, they don't. I don't think they they, they know the favorite. Morgan Freeman. They don't know anybody. They don't. They just know YouTubers. They do. That's all PewDiePie. I don't do a PewDiePie voice. The, the stuff they know. My my son's like talking about uh, late night television. He goes, "Is he one of the Jimmies?" Like he doesn't even know. Like when I was a kid, mm. I knew who Johnny Carson was. Later, yeah. you knew. Sure. Know, they, they don't. They don't know anything. They don't. Wow, so that's going to make your gig real tough. Oh, yeah, that's 15, why I'm quitting. 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Chucking it all. That's why I told you. I was just going to do Uncle Phil. They can't get cheese in Chicago without going through me. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually had an uncle who would say stuff like that. Like, You're not going to believe this, Frankie, but I got, I got the best cheese, and you can't get cheese in Chicago without going through me. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie was a cheese guy. No, you're Frankie. What's his uncle? What's Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil. Uncle that was Phil. your uncle? Uncle, uncle Phil. Phil. Uncle Phil. He's the cheese guy. Cheese guy. Cheese. Yeah. We had cheese in the news. See that story? Oh, cheese? Yeah. I don't know. If, I, 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 of the van driver was pulled over for carrying too much cheese. It turns out the truck was... I won't give you all the details. Well, how much is too much? 41% over the weight limit, carrying 2,822 pounds more cheese than he was allowed to carry. So wow. wow. There was a another cheese, truck with Uncle Phil. crushed yeah, red pepper that. <laughs> that was also... Crushed red. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh! How do you do it? Uh, Laugh! Uh, that was the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out more about the cheese story coming up. Mm. Once again, we're hanging out with Frank Caliendo and the legendary Greg Hahn. Uh, Greg actually on tour, and uh, Greg doesn't pay attention to his own life. He has someone that does it for him. We were able to get a hold of that person and found out that uh, uh, he, Greg Hahn is going to be a while. He's uh, coming up. Uh, is this that starting Thursday evening? I think it's going to be Friday and Saturday. Okay, this says Thursday, but we'll just leave it there. <laughs> um, uh, what, and then, what are you like in a library? <laughs> <laughs> funny. I'm funny in a library. I'm good. Funny. I kill in a library. 8 I'm November, funny. Diamond Joe Casino. 10, 11 November, Penguins in Cedar Rapids. A legendary club. Great place. The, the 18th of November, it's a Saturday night at the famous Brown County Playhouse. And then Friday and Saturday, 1, 2 December, it's the Jukebox Comedy Club in Peoria. Another legendary venue that uh, will be, uh, uh, the, the man in charge will be Greg Hahn. And I'm telling you, he's one of the greatest. And the, uh, po- possibly the two greatest corporate comedians I've ever seen are in this building right now. We'll be you joined ever by been them to when the, we come uh, back. Crystal Grand Theater in no. the Dells? It's a great Where? place, too. Maybe the, I have. In the Dells? And, and the water slides? I understand yeah. they're, they're trying to book <laughs> Greg Hahn there, but until then, they've got... They've, <laughs> Unfortunately, they, they just have Frank, Frank Caliendo. <laughs> They'll have to make do with Frank. Frank, Frank Caliendo is there a week from tomorrow. October 20, Crystal Grand uh, Theater in the Wisconsin Dells. Um, and uh, are you playing any, any other Dell other than... Uh, <laughs> that's the only Dell that I know of. Tom right always has the great question. Uh, Let's talk about ping pong, can we? Sure. Uh, what are you a chopper? What are you a topper? What are you a short hopper? <laughs> How do you play? Do you intimidate? Do you stop your foot? Hans a big ping pong player. Wait a second, player. I forgot. You yeah, guys Han has a table. Do you play ping pong? Oh. Yeah, I can play ping pong. I got one paddle though, sand. <laughs> Let's go. I forgot. Do you play sandpaper? A, a no, good, not really. Player. Yeah. We'll find out about that when we come back. I want to mention a couple of other things. Come this actually happened off the air. Frank Caliendo's in the studio. Tom is desperately trying to be a wonderful person and a good host, and he looks at him and goes, you like eggs? We got boiled eggs in there. You want a boiled egg? I don't it talk just, like that. Just the stupidest. Frank's been here for more than two hours. He might be a little hungry, and I happen to bring in some nice uh, nice uh, boiled eggs. Are those you, you he boiled was, those? No, he, these are, usually I boil my own. These are actually from Whole Foods. What, so why would you eat those organic. when there's Pop-Tarts in there? What shelf are they on? I can't eat food like that. May I have a boiled egg? Sure. Can I get somebody? I'm going to go get a boiled You need a boiled egg? Boiled egg? Yeah, yeah. Boiled egg? Okay. You know what? Can I, Orange you know what? I will have one. <laughs> now, wait a second. I'd Hang like on. One. Chick, one? chick, one? stop. Stop. How many boiled wait eggs Wait a minute. Do you have? No, there's two different. Fo- bo- there's there's lesser oh. boiled eggs Tell in me there. everything about it. <laughs> no. There are lesser boiled eggs. Which yes. Which boiled eggs are? Which boiled eggs are you? The yours? organic ones are the ones on the door. On the door. And there's only two in that packet left. Oh. I don't want any. The ones in the shelf. 
<laughs> no, I don't. The ones in the shelf are from another place, and I don't recommend those. I didn't get those. Tom won't eat those. They're, they're a lesser egg. I don't want any. They're too soggy. They're weird. Just stay here. Could we make a point here? We have a special guest and a special guest and another special guest. So let's start at the beginning. We're live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Coming up, it's the famous chick. I have to read it this way. Chip yes, McGee starring in contractually the Napa yeah. Auto Parts shoe in of well, the week. It is starring his show. Chip McGee. Now he's got he's got his name on both sides of it. Right. Good for him. He deserves it. Yeah, he does. He's earned it. He's what is he? Eighteen and ten. No. And he's been doing it for years. Yeah. Well, and if you'd been betting every week, you'd be in the, listening to this show from prison. And I think he's eighteen <sighs> and ten. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, the point is, <laughs> we're also joined by two of the greatest comedians. And Ever. Two, two guys I Ever. really love. <laughs> we have uh, two guys we've decided they could go in a time machine, get on stage in 1920 in Peoria, Illinois. Wait a minute. Let me do the hang on a second. Why they could go on. Be quiet. I got this. They could go on stage in 1920 at the Crystal Grand Theater in the Wisconsin Dells, where just by chance Frank Caliendo will be a week from Friday. They could go in a time machine and both these guys would kill. When Frank does his Jim Rome for a uh, sports radio dude, uh, in 1920, people and you throw in some Babe Ruth stuff. Oh yeah, there's some Walter Winchell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. Ba <laughs> Babe Ruth calling his shot. <laughs> we have a guest on the phone. Remember? Wait a second, but you have Frank. Who is it? Wait, hang on, Al. Al hang on one second. Frank, Al called on time. Frank just did Jim Rome, sports dude, talking about Babe Ruth. Could you do it for me again? Check the fish wrap. Because ah. Babe Ruth just jacked one that he called in advance. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Babe Ruth. He's Psychic Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a fish wrap is, Tom? Mm, newspaper. Okay. All right. I'm just, but, I want no, you to keep here's the thing. Frank, I did not warn him I was going to ask him that. He pulled that out of thin air, did a, his great Jim Rome, of course, which if you know who Jim Rome is, that's dead on. Right now, let's switch gears. One of my other favorite human beings. <laughs> he just wanted to analyze what happened. Yeah. So he just wanted to go over it again. Yeah. He I'm just, just wanted to ruin the, the uh, <laughs> spontaneous moment we had by talking about it today. Yeah, people, people, people need to realize analysis. People need to People do realize it. They're human beings. <laughs> Let it happen. We don't will need you? a play by play of life. Yes, you do. You know, <laughs> in the studio, do we have our guest host today. He is uh, the great comedian Frank Caliendo. Uh, also, uh, are you, are you all hyped up? What are you rocking? I'm just fired up. You look like <laughs> I like being here. You're rocking back and forth. It's the great Greg Hahn. I mean, pop tarts. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I got my show coming out. You had never mentioned my show. Your TV show? Yeah, Dog Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a bunch of dogs. And <laughs> <laughs> Frank Caliendo is here with us. Frank is going to be doing some road work. He will be at the Crystal Grand Theater in Wisconsin. At the Wisconsin Dells um, uh, place, and it'll be it'll be a week from tomorrow. Now, I wanted to ask Frank something. I did not see this, but I'm getting told about it. Okay. The show is called The Good Life. Oh yeah, I was referenced on there. And there's a picture of you. I, uh, what? There was like some, I, I I only Have heard you seen about it. it. Uh, yeah, they, they there's impressionist art, and it's apparently a picture of me. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> I didn't gotcha. even get the joke. I didn't know. The, the, I think my I think my favorite reference I got referenced on Family Guy, which I thought was the coolest thing in the world. Peter Griffin's flying over Vegas, <laughs> right? And there's a picture of me on a billboard. And he's like, hey, he hits every, everything he says. I agree with a hundred percent or something like that. <laughs> it was like great. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I I, I always like those. I, I don't mind being a punchline every once in a while, but but impre I didn't I didn't know what the setup was. Impression. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I I've. Uh, I, I'd heard about it a bunch. That's, Bob that's, Lee from ESPN actually. When it happened, he's he he emailed me. Uh, you know Bob Lee, sure. the, the 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 serious guy mm -hmm. on ESPN. <laughs> it always takes a breath before he starts. <laughs> Frank, where? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what was that all about? I wanted to read this for Greg Hahn because um, it's uh, this was a new, legit news story that we had I think earlier this week. I don't know what one. It involves the linguistics professor Alan Manning. And he did a, uh, a a very comprehensive study about uh, breaking up. Oh, and yeah. And he said, uh, when asked, what is the best way to uh, let your soon-to-be ex know the bad news? Uh, researchers have found that people receiving bad news about a social relationship, such as a breakup or getting fired, prefer directness, candor, and very little buffer. That's why I get down on one knee. 
Uh-huh. Oh. I say, will you make me the happiest man in the world and let me out of this debacle? <laughs> 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 he does, this guy does say you should say we need to talk. Yeah. And then get right to it. Uh, I hate that. That's but like everybody. telegraphing a punch. Yeah, everybody who hears uh, we need to talk. They're they horrible. It. Right. Uh, yeah, that's a dead giveaway. I don't want to talk. No. No, I don't want to talk. Yeah, it, it never, it's it's never, we need to talk. I can't keep up all this sex. It's, uh, you're going to have to back down. <laughs> oh, I see. It's, it's, oh, he's going the other yeah, way. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, no, it rarely is anything positive. Uh, it's, it's always bad. Well, yeah. look at Frank. What are you, like a nice married guy, successful, with uh, beautiful kids? Is that right? Yeah, why not? See, if he made decisions, could have gone the other way. Single! Crazy, happy. <laughs> Made a few bad decisions, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to know. Um, uh, Greg Hahn uh, has a massive road schedule. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. Uh, both these guys are. If you if you've got some business, you want to have like the greatest Christmas party of all time. Are you kidding me? No, I could just watch Greg all day. I mean, there's very few people that you could just. Uh, I just want to see him hoot and holler and do the fingers. <laughs> see my new show on Animal Planet, where I travel the country eating the state bird. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Bob and Tom, Ooh, I think it's you terrible. You lay a hand on one of our cardinals. <laughs> I think it's terrible. And it'll be... <laughs> wow. <laughs> More eagle? Yeah, yeah, you two are the yin and yang of personalities. Frank and Greg. Yeah? Yeah, because you're so quiet and calm, and then there's Greg on. Mm-hmm. He's a hurricane. Even sleepier. Mm-hmm. You're sleepier? No, I'm good. Oh. Well, now, once again, I think Hurricane. I was uh, going to mention, what? you say you play with your kids, mm-hmm. right, Tom? Of course. You little baby. You ever play Hurricane? <laughs> oh, yeah. Set them up with a uh, walkie-talkie. You build them a big pillow for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Give them a walkie-talkie, and you have the other one. Right. Uh-huh. And give them the weather report. That's nice. Uh, all clear. Per- perfect weather. <laughs> nice walk. They're in there eating snacks, having a nice time in the pillows. <laughs> all clear. Wait a minute. A few clouds. A few clouds on the horizon. It's yeah, okay. yeah. No big deal. A few, a few more clouds building up. A few more... Wait a minute, a lot of, there's a hurricane headed directly your way. <laughs> then you run in with a pillow and just demolish the fort yeah, like and it. clobber the girls with a pillow. Man, hit my- there is a hurricane headed <laughs> your way, <laughs> girl. <laughs> yeah. Hurricane! They're just bang, the bang, will, pillows. The girls will like, hell, I love that. I'd yeah. like to play hurricane yeah. Snacks everywhere. What a great idea. Yeah, I did it many oh times. There's trail God. mix everywhere. Yeah, they loved it. Uh, Do you have any other natural disaster kids <laughs> games? Yeah, yeah. You, got, other, you play uh, Tornado? Any other, any other tone deaf? Uh... <laughs> well, a tornado would be great. Activities for slumber parties. <laughs> What, weren't, didn't you as a kid stand out and go out with your hur- friend Yard came coming during yeah. the hurricane yeah. headed to Florida goggles jock trap bring it <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's, where he, that's, that's where he got his comedic delivery <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me now you can hear me anytime uh, wow any kooky wildfire stuff no no no, okay. no, no. We, ha- we have um, Ooh, bad time. we have Christy Lee no one the, no one even thought of not yet no. until <sighs> We have Christy Lee at the well. Bob and Tom News oh Desk. Let's get God. another story in here. What's happening? What are we missing? We were talking about paintings because we were talking about your impressionist painting thing. <laughs> the last Leonardo da Vinci painting in private hands is expected to fetch $100 million wow. at auction next month. <laughs> Christie's wow. announced Tuesday the uh, depiction of Jesus titled Salvatore Mundi will be offered on November 15th. What, is he in disguise? No, have you seen it? It's No, he's not in disguise. Why, they, why didn't they call it Jesus? Uh, I don't know. I, hang on. Is sorry. Salvador Monday? It's is a it painting? Monday? Monday You're upset Sunday. We, yeah. Da Vinci didn't ask you what he should name the painting, <laughs> we, we aren't have, you? We have two for Tuesday. We don't have Salvador Monday on this station, do we? Salvador Mon- Monday? Mon- what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Monday is something? French for one of the days of the week, isn't it? Um, um, Marty, month? Mercury, Jeudi. Mon- Monday? Jeudi, Monday. Did you say Solomon Grundy? <laughs> no. <laughs> the work, which dates from around the year 1500, is one of fewer than 20 20 known paintings by sure Leonardo. It does. The sellers identified only as a private European collector. It f- sold for 45 British pounds in 1958. Oh, that's quite How an much in- is that? Quite an investment. 100 bucks. Well, 100 bucks maybe? I'm selling my painting. I got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guy. You look at it, he seems to be coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, it's called Here Comes Ed. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. That's a good title. Salvatore. It's with a D. A T. Salvatore Mundi. Yeah, it means uh, savior of the world. Ah, oh. I, okay. Cool. I got so, a question. I, I, I can't understand how your comedy works. <laughs> it's amazing. It's unbelievable. Anybody There's nobody else, like you. Anybody else says that, that same sentence, you're just staring at yes. me. Like, yeah. I There's hate no you. Way. This guy, I'm crying. It's the stuff you do so and sorry, things, so it's, it's, it shouldn't be this good. It's no. called, here, here comes Ed. Is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. No, it's called Here Comes Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how I, do you do real it? Quick, a real quick review. This guy, Some guy bought this painting for like 100 bucks. And now it's going to go for a hundred million. A hundred million. It disappeared again for nearly half a century. Believed that the work had been destroyed till it was rediscovered in 2005, and it took six years to authenticate it. Rediscovered, repainted. The point is, yeah. <laughs> even Jesus is rolling over in his grave. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> He's not in his grave. Sorry. Rolled the rock. Uh. <laughs> We're going to come right back and try to rescue the show in the studio. The fabulous Frank Caliendo and the grating Greg Hahn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, that sounded wrong. I think I gotta work on my, on my words. Frank Caliendo, one of my favorite human beings, the great comedian, impressionist, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Frank is gonna be live and in person a week from Friday. That's Monday. A week from tomorrow yes. in the Wisconsin Dells at the legendary Crystal Grand Theater. Frank, thanks for sitting in with us this morning, man. It's a pleasure. Yeah, uh, I've, Frank I've will be doing better. his famous Babe Ruth impression, <laughs> uh, made famous on today's show. Right. Uh, Greg Hahn has a, a big, big weekend. He'll be at the legendary Wiley's in Dayton, Ohio, plus some more dates I'll get to in just a second. We've been talking about... Uh, uh, Frank's uh, career growing up and doing impressions. Uh, of course, your first famous impression, I assume, was one of your brothers or your father or one of your teachers. Uh, ah, yeah, I was a teacher, Mr. Christensen. Can you do him for us? Uh, you... We're going to go to Frank Caliendo, our resident map expert. Frank, <laughs> could you uh, show us where the United States is on the map? <laughs> Frank, you're, you're pointing to the blue. <laughs> now, so in today's world, when Frank Caliendo gets on stage... I Talk to him like he's not here. Um, who are, like being at home. Who are the <laughs> <laughs> who are the voices that are getting the most response right now? The the impression ones. Yeah. Uh, the, Morgan Freeman's always the big. That people want to hear the Madden thing. John Gruden is. Who doesn't the, love Gruden? I'll tell you. I what, love Gruden. I tell you what. I don't know why you wouldn't love him. Greg <laughs> Hahn. <laughs> Greg Hahn. Yeah. This guy excites me, man. I love Greg. Hahn. <laughs> Gruden hotline. <laughs> now, this, the video of you with Gruden is priceless. That's a lot of fun. I would have, when I did that sketch with him, I would have preferred not to talk the whole time, just stared back and forth with him. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not great for radio, but just the look on the face, I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> I could have just done that for two minutes and it'd been even funnier than the sketch. Oh, Do you ever throw uh, an impression out there that's kind of just for you or that might be for like 10% of the audience? Oh, uh, half celebrity? of my life is doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, you throw out the weird things like, uh, you know, the the dad from ALF. <laughs> oh, <sure>. Lynn, Brian, <laughs> please don't eat Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> or people that are like specific comedy fans. You do a Brian Regan. I had no idea I was going to even be here. <laughs> going to go going to go the left side of the stage now. <laughs> going to the left side of the stage. Going to work the crowd. <laughs> Didn't like him going to the right side. <laughs> Gonna do like a Muppet dance, get over there. And Krypton, the big red one, was the sun. They didn't have the same powers. <laughs> God, the, the dad from Alf, thank you. Yeah, God, Max, Max, Max. Max something, uh, yeah. Carl Ace, Shub, you know that. You're Carl a big Shub, Alf Max fan. Shub. Why would you even bring it up? <laughs> God. He was on Norm MacDonald's show, too. He's in a... Max Wright. Norm's another Max, uh, Max Wright. Wright. Yeah, Ma I worked with uh, Max Wright over there. <laughs> he was the uh, he was a guy. He was the dad from Alf. I think he had some problems with the law at one point. Yeah. Ended up uh, dying or something like that. Uh, I don't know. We don't keep in touch anymore. Uh -huh. But uh, you know, hey, I saw. Uh, I went to see uh, the Greg Hahn show. You ever see Greg Hahn? He's a funny guy. I. Uh, <laughs> He was, uh, he was a bit manic out there. And I'm watching, uh, I'm watching Greg. And it's, uh, I said, uh, hey, you should be the next Colonel Sanders. And then he said, I'm Ed. 
<laughs> the greatest thing about Norm Macdonald is he never funny. has to get to a joke to be. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. even funnier. I remember when he was, I first met him. He's like, so. Uh, <laughs> You're doing the uh, you're doing the voice there. That's uh, that sounds kind of like me. I was on uh, <laughs> you do a sketch show. You had the sketch show there, the Mad TV. I was on a sketch show. Uh, you might never have heard of it. It's called the Saturday Night Live. <laughs> I did that show for a couple of years. I did a uh, did a news segment out there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. So I, and I told him, I'm like. Uh, we have the same lawyer. I'm like, we have the same lawyer. He's like, yeah, hey, you know, you. Uh, we should go do that for him right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? I love, I, yeah, love, what? I love the obscure stuff on yes. Norm Macdonald. That's right. But uh, wasn't the guy, the Max Wright guy? Was he was on Buffalo Bill? Did yeah. you see that show? He was that a general, Dabney Coleman Dabney show? Dabney Coleman. The general manager and Gina Davis, the general yeah. manager of the TV That stage. show lost yeah. in the shuffle. If you ever get a chance, that was a great show. Don't, don't make a big effort. Oh, no, it's the Buffalo fantastic. Bill show? Oh, it's great. It puts the lotion in the basket. No, no, no that's not the, that shit. That's a different <laughs> Buffalo Bill. Yeah. No, that was the me. original title of Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. I have two questions for Put you. Put the lotion in the basket. Mr. Greg Hahn on his way to the legendary Wiley's Comedy Club this Friday and Saturday. Greg? Yes. Um, <laughs> I was born eight and a half months early, everybody. <laughs> wow. Hello. My, one of my favorite things is when we will try to feed Mr. Han a joke. Mm -hmm. yeah, how's just, it work? happened just a few moments ago. Uh, there was a reference to golf yeah. behind the scenes, and I said, oh, Greg's a golfer. He's the farmer. And then you looked at me like, don't ask. I don't know the bit. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> golf! Yeah. <laughs> I, golf I, I, for, I forgot the bit. Some people think golf is boring. Not if you tackle. There it is. <laughs> There's one. Boom. <laughs> No, we're taking acting classes. Frank's taking acting classes now, right? Yeah, Me too. I took a class. How'd it go? Did you? Didn't go well at all. <laughs> Do they make you repeat back and forth? Oh, happy, sad, sad, happy. Yeah, that's like oh, the miser. You feel good? You feel, I, I hate that. You're doing terrible right now. <laughs> well, no, it went. No kidding. It went. Uh, it got well, almost got, violent right away with the teacher, you know? Because oh, really? I'm so happy I'm even there because I don't want to be there. I don't like it. Anyway, so they <laughs> but, I'm wait, wait. but I'm happy that I'm there. So I said, motivated. Progress. Pro he says, progress. Yeah, motivated. Then he says, he looks at my face with a smile. He goes, mask, mask, like I'm, you know. Hiding something. Yeah, hiding. And I said, actor. <laughs> he goes, actor? Bleep you, he yells. And I said, little acting class. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? That was my big thing. All right, you sit down. All right. <laughs> I'm not going back. But I'm picky with the parts that I would play. Do you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, I want to play either a pinball repairman. Oh. <laughs> You know, or like an anesthesiologist that has one arm shorter than the other. That's it. I'm waiting for these roles. Yeah. I'm telling you, retired superhero. Nice. It's not, There's nothing better than seeing you. What would be his superpower? Uh, it could be anything he wanted. He could, he could be retired Superman. You see him sitting in his recliner. Yeah. He really Superman. could. Yeah. yeah. In the Superman suit. Yeah, Frank's nailed it here. He really Having could. a sandwich, watching, watching yeah, TV. Watching a, yeah, watching TV, half uniform with, on, with half uniform curl, off. The curl on his forehead like <laughs> Superman. Oh, you're I very handsome, it. very handsome man. You know what I figured out? How to what? win all political arguments. I know how to win all how? political arguments. Oh, Chick and I are just, debating right now. Go ahead. Yeah, we're just going to have to agree to disagree. How about you eat a crap sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the Greg Hahn players. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, welcome back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got to throw some Visine in my eyes. I'm crying from laughing. <laughs> because we have great guests in the studio. They would include that man, Frank Kelly. Frank's in the like the zone. I look over there and it's mine. I was a Greg Hahning in my mind. <laughs> Between two Hans. <laughs> Greg Hahn is here with us. Let hey, everybody. Uh, thank you very much. Let me get a couple of plugs in. First off, can I mention that we're in the Napa Auto Parts Studios, home of the Napa Tool of the Week tomorrow. Uh, we also have uh, Christy Lee right there. Yep. And this makes no sense. If this was a run-on sentence, um, I'd run out of gas here. That's Joshy. Hey. That's uh, me. No, uh, that's I'm me. That's, that's Chick. Chick. Thank you. Hi. The legendary Ace Cosby, our engineer today. Thank you very much, Ace. Hola. Oh, he's a good job. Ace, of course, learning Spanish. <laughs> and uh, Greg Hahn is here are. with us. Spanish! I got jokes for that! Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, Greg is on his way to... Wait, it's not Greg doing Greg. Greg is on his way to uh, Wiley's Comedy Club. <laughs> now, we have, the reason I was staring at the paper earlier is this... I like some of that Japalino on my taco! <laughs> yeah! 
Greg, you wrote Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I did. This says well, was a huge mistake. Friday, Saturday. Okay, I'll you'll have to call That's the court right, and yes. find out. Then you have to correct it. You get two plugs. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. Hey, circle it. <laughs> Rodeo in my head. Oh, that's Frank Caliendo doing Frank Caliendo. Uh, no. Rodeo of the mind. Frank There's Caliendo theater of the mind. There's right what I'm doing right now. Now we have, um, we have also <laughs> Frank Caliendo. Now you see what we have to deal with. Uh, Frank Caliendo is going to be. No at picnic. The, uh, <laughs> tick, tick, now we're tick. all doing Greg on. The legendary Crystal Grand Theater in the Wisconsin Dells. A week from tomorrow evening, it will be Mr. Caliendo in concert. It will be a wonderful program, and Frank will be there also. Now. Um, <laughs> I got, I, I missed half the conversation. Uh, Greg is a single man. Can, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Should I marry a super smart girl and get a dog? Or marry a girl that's not as smart? She counts as both. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the exact girl I want to marry. Who do you want to marry? I got it worked out with Christy. I got it worked out with Christy. This is the, this is the kind of woman I'm going to oh. marry. Honey, I'm home. Oh, enjoy your steak and booze. I'll just be upstairs covered in pudding. <laughs> the greater one. There it is. <laughs> Wait a minute, I got another one. Honey, I'm home. Uh, if you want to visit your old girlfriend, that's fine with me. <laughs> I just have some laundry to do. <laughs> Brody in my head. <laughs> Brody in my head. <laughs> some people do comedy for the art. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people do it for the money. Some yeah. people do it for the art. But I do it for the money. <laughs> 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 so you're single, single right now, right? Yeah, sure. Why would I? No, no you know. one out there right now necessarily. Okay. I like a girl with a delightful sneeze. I'm looking for that. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Yeah, like a little. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, sure. <laughs> These are all acceptable. Uh, uh, Chick, do you have the theme music? <laughs> Frank is amused and abhorred. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, uh, That's it's making me laugh for the whole show. He's fantastic. So, he's so horrified with my every joke. It makes Same me laugh. as you missed with Tom. Tom? Oh, uh, well. Um, uh, Frank Caliendo is here. We still love uh, Frank's John Madden. It's one of our favorites. Always will be. It's a classic. It's not as good as this one, though. <laughs> this one's going to take the world by storm, <laughs> which is a great game to play with little kids. Storm. <laughs> Just take all their betting, <laughs> swaddle them, Hurricane. and then dunk them. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. Hey, Hurricane. kids, Back you been in the bathtub lately <laughs> while wearing linens? <laughs> <laughs> Tell your nana, grandma, whoever you want to call her. Okay, um, I can help better. Get the Bob and Tom app just so you can listen to this show again. Um, Wiley's. Okay. Uh, that's, <laughs> Wiley's is where you may or may not find uh, Han tonight. I have no idea. Not tonight. Friday. Not tonight, Friday. Come on. Pay attention. Uh, green paper. The, the, the organic boiled eggs in the green room are much, much tastier. Uh, we just did a little taste test. Um, oh, my God. Um, uh, f uh, let's see. Frank does a great Norm MacDonald. Blah, 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 blah. I got to do the real. The scalpelson doesn't pay for itself. Okay. Now, can you show me once again how to win any political argument? Sure, Gregory. sure. Okay. Chick. Chick. Yes. Chick. We're doing we're gonna do a political argument. Okay, I got you. We'll start arguing. Well, let's just agree to disagree. How about you eat a crap sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's what you missed. Thank That's you very it. much. Oh. And uh, we uh, <laughs> get the Bob and Tom app, won't you? And also we've got a special contest. You can win a Ms. Pat's new autobiography. Check that out on the Bob and Tom app thing, which oh. is out there somewhere in the ether. This is the Bob and Tom show.